Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to Dandelion Wishes brought to you. Um, last time we ran into some of Jihei's fangirls. That was fun. Not really. Um, we also did have a little bit of a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with Jihei after having a rather bad nightmare. Um, so this time, uh, we're actually almost getting ready to start the new year, uh, 2013. I'll be back in 2013. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and get started over here. Um, okay, so now we can start earning some more points with Jihei. Awesome. So I think that's probably what the game was waiting for, for us to have that interaction with him. Dix, it's a Sunday. He's not available. Uh, so we'll go to work. Because from here to the next big cutscene, um, we gotta work our ass off to get those points, cause he's gonna be in and he's gonna be out of the house a lot. Um, let's see. Yeah, cause for example, he's usually home on Mondays. Not anymore. Um, what do we need to work on? Art skills getting close to a level, so let's go ahead and do some art. Happy January first. And there's another reason why I wanted to get that uh, skincare uh, at our last level up, because that's one of the ways we can interact with him in here. This would be just slightly awkward if we took a bath with him at this point in time. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Uh, stare at his face. Oh, he didn't like that. Uh, basically the blue heart counteracts uh, the red, so let's try that again. How's work? We'll just go with that. <laughs> she best not be yelling at you. Okay, yeah, pressure and stress are nice and low. I like to see those. Um, beauty. Uh, can't really do that with Gian in the bathroom. So let's just work on that. Okay, so you out here. Sofa, no. Cooking. Damn it. Do you? <sighs> Smile. Eighty one, we're getting there. Ah. Uh, oh, damn it. Got a little excited with that escape button. Oh. 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 Yes, it's very beautiful. Thank you. Wish we could have had an interaction with you, but that still works. <laughs> goes. Remember, right, if close regard to the season, I feel no shame in expressing individuality. <laughs> Thank you. Was we at 81 before we left the house? Look around. There's a couple stickers. Why do we want leftover cookies or broken trash? <laughs> See, 
when when someone offers to do housework for you, that's when you know you've got it good. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm kidding. It's, you know, nothing around the house is nice. All right, uh, I think Jihei is out for the day. Let's, let's see if yeah he is out for the day. So we will go to work. I was at work and my husband gets home before I do and uh, got a text message when I got on my break and he's like yeah by the way I did dishes I'm like I didn't even ask you to but thank you honey <laughs> something because I just thought I saw Heejung worrying about how hostile Jisoo is. I could be wrong though. Uh, education? Nope. Let's play hide and seek with Jihei again. There he is. You wear your hat, right? <laughs> oh, there's that level up. Alright. Um, Harlequin novel. Study art, that's kind of cool. 87 out of 100. Ah. all these cosmetic packs that we've got. <laughs> someone a good wife someday. Anyway. <sighs> 90 out of 100. We're getting there. Oh, what's the next thing to eat? Jihei kissed my hair. It became red whenever I saw him. How can Jihei be so calm? Does kissing someone in the hair mean nothing to Jihei? Uh, I'm getting a headache. Why can't I think about nothing else all day long? Nowadays, Jihei seems to go out a lot, even on the weekends when he doesn't have to work. Jihei's every actions are on my mind. Jihei... I wonder if work is going well. He seems to be quite busy with work. Is he taking care of himself? And didn't it mean anything for him to kiss my hair? No, oh, I should get my mind off of this. I went to the living room and found Jian eating an apple by himself. Should I ask Jian? If I knew more about Jihei, I would feel less impatient. 
Hey. I approach Jian, who is munching on an apple. Jian hardly ever said a word. He usually communicates with Jihei with his eyes and uses his mouth for eating much more than often than for talking. I think he might have be more of a glutton than Jisoo, at least for apples. Maybe because he was a rabbit, he would munch away on an apple the moment he saw it. When I called Jian, he stared at me with his eyes wide open. Don't you feel lonely because Jihei goes out so often these days? You two are always together. Jian suddenly put down the apple and dropped his head. Did I say something that made him lose his appetite? I'm, I'm sorry, I was just asking. I couldn't make out what he said with this tiny voice. What? What did you say? Well... I could barely make out the words. I feel bad, like an adult who had done something bad to a child. But shall we go see him? As soon as I said that, Jan approached me and held out a and held my hand. Wow, his hands are really white. Oh. Why are you so cute? You're so precious. Jian always made me want to protect him. Hearing a small voice made me want to give him a big hug. Doesn't Jihei feel this way as well? Maybe Jihei was so stiff because he was already immune to Jian's cuteness and charm. Jihei apparently worked in a big studio in downtown. I don't know where it is, but I've... I know where it is, but I've never been there. I hesitated for a moment, not wanting to bother him at work, but he'd been so busy lately we didn't have a decent conversation in the last two weeks. So today, I will definitely... Yoki. Yes? Jian pulled me in the direction opposite of where the studio is. That's not... I told Jian that wasn't the building we were supposed to go to, but Jian wouldn't listen. He pulled me close. He pulled me so desperately toward another building that I had no choice but to stop at that building first. Oh. Scent. We arrived at the door of an unfamiliar building. I saw a group of girls with familiar faces. Oh shit. Jihei must be in there, just as Jian said. These girls are. I recognize some of the familiar faces among the girls in the crowd inside. The girls who have never seen me before look puzzled. Some of the girls who remember me began to whisper among themselves. The girls whispered among themselves and glared in my direction. I'm sorry, what? Get rid of me? High school students these days are really scary. <laughs> you leave my baby bunny alone, bitch. Now they seem to be curious about Jian. You leave my baby bunny alone. For some reason, I don't want to know. Then is he what then is he meant? Jian didn't seem to be interested in the fact that people were talking about him. Jian approached the girl with curly hair who was standing in front of the door. Everyone suddenly became silent and fixed their gaze on Jian. Even the girl with curly hair shut her mouth and blushed. 
Such weakness for good-looking guys. Jian opened his mouth. Uh, I guess he wanted to tell him to get out of the way from the door. The girl with permed hair answered in a high-pitched voice, but Jian wouldn't budge. Jian was talking about scent again. Sorry, we're going in. The permed haired girl was confused, so we took the opportunity to grab the door. We opened the door and quickly walked in. A photo shoot was going on inside. Many cameras and staff, a fancy studio. It's something that I've seen many times in the TV. Oh. A man sitting on a luxurious red sofa. Long silver hair, slim figure, long legs. That's Jihei! It's definitely Jihei, but... Why? Agashi. Jihei discovered me and he looked quite surprised. Move. <laughs> Jian ran into the studio, disregarding the fact that everyone was staring at him. Jihei signaled the cameraman not to shoot anymore. I also wanted to go where Jihei was, but I couldn't move my legs. My heart was pounding. Jihei suddenly seemed so far away. That person lives with me in the same house and eats with me at the same table. I can't believe that. Jihei hugged Jian, who ran over to him and looked at me. And he walked towards me. Such a handsome man was approaching me. I couldn't take my eyes off him. My heart began to beat even faster. Jihei is right in front of me. He's calling me. spoke as he looked into my eyes. Uh, suddenly I remember the time he had kissing my hair. My face flushed. Why am I acting like this? I want to act more normal in front of him, but I can't. Yeah. Uh, really? My heart was not stopped pounding. He smiled warmly at me. He's... he's glad? He said he was glad I came here? Why does that make me so happy? Why? Daddy? Jian looked at Jihei and blinked. Now the film is finished, so wait a minute. nodded and Jihei looked at me. He's smiling softly and gently. He's really beautiful. Yeah, don't worry about him. I barely got those words out of my mouth as I calmed my pounding heart down. I can't take my eyes off Jihei. Jihei turned around and went back to the studio set. Jian stared at Jihei's back, then turned and looked at me. Eddie, Jihei smiled? Yeah. Jian nodded once and sat down on the chair in the corner. I stood there for a while and looked at Jihei being shot. I want to see Jihei looking so handsome just a little bit longer. Jian is onto something, apparently. Ooh. Alright, so we've got a few more points we need to earn. Uh, is today Saturday or Sunday? It's Sunday, so I don't think he's home. Yep, nope. Work. So in theory, 
theory. Actually, we might be able to finish this out this week. I don't know. We'll find out. So we do still need a couple more points, but he's not home right now, obviously, so it's time to take a nap. Awesome sauce, awesome sauce. Actually, Gian is. Cause I think last I checked, he was like at 47 out of. we can go to. I'm just waiting on a cutscene to trigger before we go to a location. Um, so let's go to the bookstore. out points once you've earned them. I could be wrong, but I haven't experienced that yet, if that is the case. Um, yeah. Okay, stress getting a little high. That time. I just looked over and my cat has made like a nest out of the blankets we have on our couch. <laughs> so I would turn my camera and show, but my house is an absolute mess right now. January or the start of February. Whichever comes first.
Oh, there we go. Uh, yes, that's, um... I received an unexpected phone call today. I was on the phone stuttering, trying to think of what to say. But I'm still a student. The more I refuse to offer, the stronger they ask for it. So here's how the story goes. Jihei's popularity was skyrocketing. He needed someone to manage his schedule and take care of his health. In other words, Jihei needed a manager. Is that really a part-time job? Jihei hated having strangers around, making it impossible to get a manager. But without a manager, Jihei's schedules often collided with one another, and the agency couldn't get in touch with him at times. So his agency called me, thinking that Jihei might accept me, who lives with him, as his manager. I shouldn't have said that I'm his family when I went to see him at work last time. But Jihei's manager... I really don't have time. I'm still a student. I'm sorry. I was refusing. I still haven't graduated from college yet, and I still don't know what I'm going to do with the future, but... Be a manager of a model? enough on my plate already. I don't even have time to be Jihei's manager. I could hear them whispering amongst themselves. These people, don't they know when to give up? I had to refuse no matter what their offer was. I was going to say something when somebody grabbed my hand. Jihei? Jihei was standing right before me. His cold hands grabbed my hand on the phone. Uh, Jihei took the phone away from my hand. I blinked in confusion. Jihei said to the phone without a hello. What? Jihei was going to get a hang up the phone as the voice in the phone protested, No, wait. But no, no, it's okay. But to quit? Jihei's expression was cold as ice. How could you quit so easily? You're going to quit because it troubles me? Are you serious? Who quits for such a reason? You've worked several months already, and people are acknowledging your talent. You have fans who love you, and people who want to see your potential, but do you mean it? I know for certain that those people already care for Jihei. They're trying so hard to get him a personal manager. The phone rang again. It's probably the agency. The agency really cared for Jihei. Why would he possibly want to quit? Both of us remained silent until the phone stopped ringing. I thought that Jihei might pick it up, but he didn't. When the phone finally became silent, Jihei spoke. Troublesome, that's not it! With that, Jihei turned around. Jihei, wait! I unconsciously raised my voice. Jihei turned and looked at me. Are you really going to quit like this? Doesn't being recognized by others mean anything to you? How can you quit so easily? I don't understand. He found work that people acknowledged him for, yet he was quitting just like that. Jihei doing his modeling job had been amazing. He'd been absolutely stunning. And the staff were trying so hard to keep help Jihei show his full potential. But Jihei... Agashi. He has so many people who need him. 
who like him, but he's just letting them all go as if it, nothing's wrong. It's strange. A workplace that recognizes and needs you? People who accept you and like you? Those are the things that I wanted. Jihei has everything. I'm not that pretty, just plain. I don't even know what I want to do and I have no idea how I can be acknowledged by society. Even as I study and go to cram school every day, I still don't know. Jihei has everything that I want, yet he's willing to let it all go so easily. Too easily. How can you just leave everything like that so easily? What about those who cheer you on, those who acknowledge you? You don't need them at all? Do you really not need all of that? Is there someone out there who wants it really bad? Does that mean nothing out there? Does that mean nothing for you? Is it because you have everything you want and that's easily given up? Give them up to you? Because you can always have them back? Some people want it but can't get it. Yet it's all yours. You get to you got it all so easily for you. No matter how hard I try, there's that's not happening for me. No matter how hard I try. What I want to be, what I want to do. I'm scared nobody will need me, no matter how hard I try. Agashi. Jihei called me with his warm voice. Uh, I realized I'd only been overly agitated. Whether he gives up or not, that's for Jihei to decide. I was disappointed in myself for letting it all out on Jihei. 지금 제가 가진 것들은 저에게 중요치 않아요. 왜냐하면 제가 가진 것들이 정말 내가 원하고 있는 것인지 확신할 수 없기 때문입니다. He doesn't know if that's what he wants. 저는 오래 전부터 무엇을 좋아하고 싫어하는지 알수 없게 되어버렸습니다. What? He doesn't know what he likes and dislikes. Now that I think about it, what does Jihei like? His favorite food, favorite music, favorite color? What does he dislike? Nothing came to mind. Oh, maybe Jisoo. Jihei has never said anything that he liked. That he liked anything. He never said he liked anything, not even something small. Was that why he quit the modeling job so easily? Because he neither likes nor hates it? Because it's not what he really wanted? Pathetic. I never thought he was pathetic. Of course I do. I wish that Jihei could continue doing something he could be acknowledged for. I want him to remain that amazing person I saw in the photo shoot, get acknowledged by people. Yes. I nodded. When I saw you working last time, really shine when he was in the photo shoot. People that worked with him, he knew, knew this and tried their best to capture it on camera. I thought you were amazing. I don't want him to quit. Unless he has a real reason to quit, I wanted him to be with the people that knew his value. And I thought you looked absolutely amazing at Jihei really was breathtakingly beautiful. I can still vividly remember how you looked at the time. Whenever I think about it, my heart begins to pound. I couldn't believe that amazing model that Jihei was. And my heart was beating like crazy then. Agashi. That person was now standing in front of me. He was looking at me concerned. 
This is embarrassing. Just looking into his eyes makes me extremely embarrassed. My heart began to quicken. Why? Why am I reacting like this? Why am I becoming awkward again? Why am I so conscious of him? Why, why, why can't I keep calm around him? Why am I blushing? Why can't I keep my cool? Why can't I? My pulse is racing. I can't breathe. No. I couldn't look into Jihei's eyes any longer. I was too shy. That's because... Jihei's voice was unusually calm. My face was facing the other way. A lie. I was thinking is he again thinking about the reason why I avoided his gaze? Because I didn't like the way he looks? Of course not! Surprised, I turned my face and looked straight in Jihei's eyes. That's not it! Jihei's blue eyes were looking at me. Okay. The reason I can't look at you. The reason my face is so red and my heart is beating so fast. I... I really don't know why I'm like this. I can't look at you. When I do, I... I... Uh, um... I... I felt as if my face was going to explode. I don't know what to say. My head was blank. I mean... Um... Agashi. Jihei stepped closer to me. He's... he's close. My heart was at it again. Jihei's face closed upon mine. He's too close. I can barely even breathe. Jihei was waiting for my answer. Please. Was he really going to make me say it? The reason my heart is pounding and my face is... I mean... I had to say it. My face was bright red. The reason why you're always on my mind. I like you. Closing my eyes, I shouted in a small voice. I said it. So, I... I opened my eyes and Jihei was looking at me. I guess. All right. I don't What does he mean? Jihei reached out his hand and grabbed the back of my head. Uh? I can't hold Before I knew it, Jihei's lips brushed against mine. I cannot believe this. Jihei's kissing me. My heart was about to burst. My mind was blank. My face was too red, my pulse was too quick. I couldn't even open my eyes. Jihei's arms gently wrapped around my head. His lips were so soft. this really be happening? Jihei and I. It was like a dream. The reason I couldn't make eye contact with him. The reason
reason it was so awkward. The reason my pulse quickened when a Jihei was around. This was why. Finally! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Holy cow, guys. We finally got a kiss. Woo! Um, oh, gosh. It's been going on a long one as well. All right, so next time on Dandelion Wishes Brought to You, we're going to progress further. We're going to try and keep uh, Hijong and Jihei together because they make a freaking cute couple, wouldn't you say? Um, so I will see you all next time, okay? Bye!